Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to another predictions video and in today's video I'm going to be predicting the Joyce versus Hamer fight. If you're new around here though and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so like the video if you do need like the video and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Joyce is 13 and 0 with 12 KOs and Hamer is 27 and 9 with 17 KOs. This fight is for the WBC Silver and WBO Intercon uh, no, International heavyweight title in which Joyce currently holds. Joyce's last fight was a win via TKO in round 6 versus Takam and Hamer's last fight was a win via TKO in round 1 versus Jan Janin. Uh, Joyce was meant to fight Parker but he pulled out so instead he is fighting Hamer to stay active so I mean Joyce hasn't fought in about a year so he's definitely wanting to get back into fighting and he was meant to fight Parker which I do think would be a really big fight and he says will try and happen for the end of the year maybe November time so that'll be another fight I'll do a prediction for um but yeah so he just wanted to get a fight just to kind of get the ring rust off and I think Hamer is a good fight to do that against some people are a bit annoyed that it's not a big fight obviously it's not a crazily big fight but Hamer is still a decent opposition um and I think Either way, I still think it'll be a good fight. Um, and just to get the ring rust off, somebody like Hamer is good. Obviously, they're not going to fight big fights every single time on the way up. Um, I mean, if you look at somebody like, um, I don't know, Anthony Joshua, he doesn't fight big fighters every single time. Obviously, he's fighting Usyk now, but I mean, I, didn't even, I think he fought Pulev not too long ago. I don't know if that was him. Um, but either way, that wasn't a big fight. Um but yeah, so you, you just gotta do that to get the ring rust off at times. Um, so I don't, I don't kind of agree with any of the hate he's getting. Um, anyway, Hamer's losses have come against tough opposition like Hugh Huey Fury, I think that's how you say his name, Ortiz Povetkin and Tyson Fury. So I mean, big names are in this division and Sanchez as well. I've got to say. Um, so all big names in this division. So it's completely fair that he did lose versus them fighters. Uh, I mean, if if Joyce wants to prove himself, he needs to be able to convince and he beat somebody like this. As, I mean, that's what these great fighters have done. So if he wants to showcase that he is in this kind of... He's good enough to be it with the best in this division. He has to be able to beat somebody like Hamer relatively easily. Um, also on this card is Cunningham versus Tete for the W uh, no IBF International and Commonwealth Super Bantamweight title, in which I think Cunningham will win by unanimous decision. Um, obviously, it seems like it's going to be quite a close fight, um, and so I do think Cunningham will win. He's not really known for getting the knockouts or the TKOs, so I'll probably say unanimous decision for that fight. Moving back on to the Joyce fight, Joyce is the favourite by a big margin, as you kind of expect. Um, but yeah, in the end, I do think that Joyce will win via TKO in round three. Um, so yeah, relatively convincingly, I don't think Hamer will be too tough of a, a position really for him. Um, I mean, he's a res he's a resilient fighter who will come forward and attack you. So Joyce has got to be ready for that. Um, but otherwise, I don't think. Uh, that he will have too much of a problem doing that. Uh, but you never know. Joy Hamer's one of them fighters where you, you never really know what you, to expect with him. Um, but then, I think the Parker fight will go on at the end of the year. But if he if he meets, if he he meets beats Parker, um, I think he could possibly go on to fight for a world title, maybe. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Tyson Fury at the moment, but if he retires and that's a vacant belt right there, um, oh, well, a few bit vacant belts... And also Daniel Dubois, I mean, if he wants to fight to get his belt, then possibly. Uh, obviously, whatever happens with Anthony Joshua and Usyk. Or if he wants to fight somebody like Dillian White or Povetkin or uh, Wilder, there's a good few options there. So I think this fight will be a good stepping stone to go into the Parker fight and then just hopefully make his career go even longer if he does win this Parker fight. Um, but yeah, I think he'll win this fight. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy it. I believe it's the Volkanovski versus Holloway fight I'm going to predict tomorrow. I can't remember what I've got written down, but I think it's that one tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, if you are new around here though and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do need like the video. And thanks for watching.